anytime it snows in the triad. Now to Forsyth County, one of the areas hardest hit by power outages or storms. Ian caused the lights to go out across parts of the Piedmont. Or even if the wind blows too hard. It knocked out the power at several businesses. You know the lights could turn off. But this Christmas Eve, it got even worse. Instead of a lump of coal in their stockings, half a million people in the triad faced rolling blackouts just because it was cold outside and too much demand overloaded the power grid. And the house was colder inside than it was outside. So we came outside and stood around in, in the sun. Duke Energy says they're working to prevent outages in the future. We own what happened. We have set out on a path to ensure that if we're faced with similar challenges, we will see a different outcome and provide a better customer experience. But it's clear bad weather can turn our power off fast. A good example of this is the grid outage in Texas in February of 2021. Mike Maybe runs the watchdog website Grid Security Now. He says being without power because of weather even for a short time, can be deadly. In that two-day blackout, 250 people died because of hypothermia, carbon monoxide poisoning, the failure of their home medical equipment, all things that are directly attributable to the loss of the electric grid just in a two-day blackout. How vulnerable is our power grid? So it is vulnerable, and this is something that the Department of Homeland Security and the Department of Energy at the federal level have been monitoring for a long time. Jessica olcott lumal has been a Department of Defense contractor for 15 years. Now with the American Security Project, she says climate change is making things even worse. And our grid's getting up there in age, just wearing out. It definitely needs to modernize. It's a it's an old system that's not built for the challenges of today. According to Americans for a Clean Energy Grid, 70% of the lines and large power transformers are more than 25 years old. Our current system is old. We need to really come together and figure out what that modern energy grid looks like. There is money to improve the grid that was passed in President Biden's infrastructure bill. It's fantastic. But the important thing to note is that it's going to take time. It can take up to a decade for new transmission lines to be approved. So we might be strung along without a solution for a while.